naturally multiplying force of sexual energy is one of the most important sources of energy in our body. The heart, when it is open and clear, is the source of love, joy, and respect inside of us. The heart can also have access to the unlimited source of that same energy throughout the universe. When these two energies inside of us, the multiplying sexual energy and the loving energy of the heart, combine together, they produce a profound orgasmic energy which also finds its reflection out in the universe and permeates every cell of our body. The sexual organs is the only organs that can have a lot of orgasm, can produce the most orgasm. That is what the good sexual organs are. The sexual organs are so incredible because it's the only organs can multiply so much orgasm. When you can multiply a lot of orgasm, we can draw this orgasm and share with all the rest of the body. Even the Tao Master show you how to return the sexual energy and life force from the base up to the higher center. The ceremony or the initiation they call, they give a name called Erase Your Name Out of the Book of Death and Rewritten Your Name in the Book of Life. When you know how to return your life force and the sexual energy upward, you are being delete your name out of the book of death. And that is exactly what we're doing here. Okay. Sexual energy is a very important. We're going to spend a lot of time because on practice, because it's the most powerful energy we can have. There's the human process. We're born with it. So the Taoism said, from sex we come, true sex we transform. There's no any other way we can a voice from sex. Now, a lot of people maybe see that, oh, the monk, the nuns, the holy man, they have no sex. They give up sex. Apparently, they are not the one that give us sex. They are the one that work with sex the most. Why? Because they conserve all the sexual energy, so, they can use, they can utilize their sexual energy. Sexual energy is the main clue for them to advance to a very highly practice. The goal of the monk and the nun is they don't want to have sex because they want, they, they want to keep the sexual energy. They don't want to lose sexual energy. Right? So they stay celibacy. We don't, they don't want to lose energy. Right? Now, if you have a method that you can do anything you want, you can have sex or whatever you want, but you don't lose sexual energy, is that the same or not the same? The same, that right? They should be the same, that right? In the Taoism, say, hey, look, we don't care about black cat, white cat, or red cat. If the cat can catch the rat, it's okay. <laughs> right? So sexual practice, the way I see here, there are, there are a few ways. The way like the monk and the nun way, is good, nothing wrong. If you can stay celibacy, pray and chant to God until one day the sexual energy transform, that's good. But we don't know how, when, and where. It can take a long time, and can be drive people get crazy, because the sexual energy needs to be transformed. What you learn here is a very dialect. There are many ways to learn to do it. The strict way is work with the sexual energy directly. So what we learn here is a one method. Orgasm energy is a special quality of energy. Although we normally experience this quality within our genital area, with practice, this energy can be experienced anywhere in the body. The process of experiencing this energy throughout the whole body is referred to as the total body orgasm. This same quality of energy exists all around us in the universe. 
When we experience orgasm inside ourselves, we can draw on that same energy in the universe to increase our experience. This energy that is outside of us in the universe we refer to as cosmic orgasm energy, and it is seen as a pink mist surrounding us. The heart in the Tao system we're regarding as uh, the seat of love. Very important in every system in the world also, they know that. Tao Sim said the heart itself has many openings. So, oftentimes, the sm opening is very small, so when energy jam in, it takes time to come out. So when uh, a lot of negative, if the, a lot of ne negative come in, and you don't get it out, the people will feel very negative. So that's why the first spiritual work, a lot of people will feel very negative. Especially when you work with sexual energy, you feel very negative. Because sexual energy will speed up more energy. Uh, that uh, either multiply good energy or multiply negative energy. So the people feel negative. So the prevention, there are many ways, like the, the sequencing sound, the inner smile, the venting exercise, and the most important part is work with other people, give them your love. The more you can keep love, keep gentleness, kindness to people, the more you easy to transform. In this gesture is a gesture of opening the heart. You gather the energy in the palm, connecting the energy, and it helps you opening the heart. And in many, in all the tradition, they make it like a symbol. Like in Thailand or India, the greeting is this. So you see any people? Okay, there's a greeting. It's just like shake hand. I like this one better. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to call, uh, we call the cosmic inner smile. The cosmic inner smile is involved with establishing and opening the heart first. Opening the heart. Okay. So first thing, make sure your heart smile. And you can smile to your heart. Very important. Okay. Smile to your heart until you feel your heart like flower blossoming. And very interesting, when you feel your heart open and feel the flower blossoming, you actually started to smell the, the sm good smell of joy, good smell of happiness, good smell of loving energy. It's some kind of very fragrant smell. It's coming out from the heart. Okay? And um, it's very important, the smelling Good smell. And gradually feel the heart started to pulsing and breathing and expand out like a radiance. It radiant out, radiant out, radiant out. And it started to expand it to the lungs, to the liver, to the uh, pancreas, to the kidney, and down to the sexual energy. Okay. Now, there is uh, loving each other, <laughs> heart to heart kissing, mm -hmm. and that is very good. I tell you when, you, when you really learn how to love yourself, a lot of things in the world changes. You don't have to tell the people to eat good food, to do the right thing. When they love themselves, they don't want to do it. Yeah? A lot of people smoke a lot. You know? and, um, when they really fall in love with themselves, and when they see the hey hurting me, they quit. That's it. Yeah. A lot of time people cannot get in touch with themselves. The um so the the my center, okay, the my center in the between here have a closely relationship with the heart center, very closely relationship. So they are very connection together, very, very closely connections. Okay. And the mind have ten, have ten stem, go out and connecting with the universe, with all the galaxy and the planet and the star. So later on you learn that the ten different stems, they go extended to the heaven. So your mind, the, your, your your upper center there, there are 10 different stems, extend this way out. 
And when you extend yourself out, when I stand like this, I expand it out, I'm connecting with the universe. That's it. From the brain here, just feel connection, 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 connection. And that you have to make connection. Each one you have to make connection that way. And you make connection with the, with the universe. Okay? So that is all the um, galaxy and all the constellations that are connection with us. Finally, on this part that this morning we're going to practice, we're going to connecting the loving energy with the sexual energy. This is very, very important. And later on, we come into the smile to the heart. Feel your heart blossom like flower. So hold it, and we're going to do the heart sound. And feel the heart open like flower. Loving energy inside our heart is a special quality of energy. This same quality of energy exists all around us in the universe. When we experience love inside ourselves, we can draw on that same energy in the universe to increase our experience. This energy we refer to as universal love energy, and it is seen as a red mist above and around us. When you can connect to the universal love and link it to your heart, you will begin to have enough love to give others. You can begin by sending loving energy to your family and other loved ones. You can gradually expand it further, letting your loving heart energy radiate to the people who create trouble and obstacles in your life. In this process, you generate the energy of forgiveness, forgiving each person and holding them in your heart. In this way, you are connecting to your higher heart. And you can enhance the radiating of the energy out to the heart. And let it spread out to the lung, to the liver, to the spleen, to the kidney, and finally smiling down to the sexual energy. Feel loving energy coming down combined with sex. The incredible feeling is so incredible. Love and sex come together. Actually, when people fall in love, they get so close to be immortality. When you have a loved one, and all you, when you think of your one that you love, you feel so much love. When you have so much love, oftentimes the next thing you activate the sex. You're dying for love, you're dying to hold, you're dying to hug, and the sexual desire coming up. And when two come together, it seems, it seems, love and sex come together. No, but it's not missing too far away. Love and sex so close come together, but outside. Never inside you. The mixing outside, love and sex on the outside coming up, it cannot be last long. It's only a permanently. That's it. So this feeling is very incredible. When you feel the love and sex come together, the energy are so light, the energy are so live, the energy are so bouncing up, uplift you. And the feeling is beyond like orgasm. Just go beyond that feeling. That is love and sex combined. Okay? You can start with lightly open your eye, look at your nose, and your nose concentrate to your, to your heart so you don't feel sleepy too much. Let's do the heart sound. Inhale. Exhale, the sound is hoarse sound. Feel your heart. Exhale out any negative energy. Cloudy and gray color energy out. When your heart started to open, the first thing you're going to get is a lot of negative coming in. So a lot of people, when they get to spiritual work for a while, they're getting more negative because their heart open. You need to do the heart sound to burn out the negative so the positive have room to grow.
gradually feel fine, burn out all the negative. When the negative burn out, you started to feel love, joy, and happiness. Feel your heart, feel your heart like flower blossoming. Feel your heart like flower blossoming. Smile to your heart and feel the heart smiling back to you. And feel your heart like flower blossoming, blossoming out. Radiate out the smelling of the good smell of the loving energy. Lightly opening your palm like a flower opening, like tulips opening, red tulip opening. And let it radiate out love, <clears throat> radiate out joy and happiness. Become aware of the unlimited source of love in the universe. Feel it as a red mist all around you. Inhale and draw in the red mist into your heart, making your heart glow brighter and brighter red. As you exhale, condense the universal love down inside your heart. Feel your heart more radiant, more full of love. Relax and feel that unconditional love expand and radiate out from your heart feeling it so full that it begins to overflow. You are now connected to the universal love, the unlimited source of love in the universe. Relax, sit peacefully, picture your loved one or someone you know who needs help. Picture this person in front of you. Begin to smile to them. See them begin to smile back to you. Then begin to radiate the love from your heart, letting the love flow into the other person, filling them with love, connecting them with the universal love. Let that love radiate out to your other loved ones, your friends, your neighbors. Now see your loved one in front of you, filled with love. Gradually let them rise up until they disappear. In the same way, you can also learn to love your enemy or some person who is creating trouble or obstacles or some sort of difficulty in your life. Begin to feel connected to the universal love. Feel all that love in your own heart. Then let the person you have difficulty with take form in front of you. Ask what you can give that will make both of you more balanced. Inhale, breathing in the first color that comes to you. Then exhale, radiating that color out to the other person. Inhale, drawing more loving, peaceful energy into your heart. Then exhale, radiating that loving, peaceful energy out into the other person until you feel that person filling up with your love, filling with peaceful energy. Then watch them slowly rise up until gradually they disappear. Smell the good smell of the love. Smell the good smell of joy and happiness. Lightly vibrating your lumbar and your neck and hair also. Let the love, joy and happiness radiate out to your heart, to your lungs. to your liver, to the pancreas, and to the kidney. Lower your right hand down to your sector center.
breathing small loving energy into your heart and feel the loving energy started to flow down to mixing with the heart to the sexual energy. So the sexual desire will not leak out. When the love and sex come together, they doesn't leak out. Love and sex have come together. You feel life and you feel light. Inhale down to your heart. Swallow the saliva down to your heart. And exhale down to your sexual organ. Feel the space between the sexual organ and the heart being washed out. Inhale into your heart. Swallow the saliva, hold your, hold your breath in your heart for a while. Exhale down to your sexual center. Feel it. When you exhale down, you feel something combined together. Again, inhale to your heart. Hold your breath for a while. Exhale down to your sexual center. Now, this time we're going to wash up. Inhale down to the heart. Inhale down to your sexual center. Exhale up to your heart. Feel the space from the sexual organ to the heart being washed out and wider and wider and, and wider. Again, inhale to your heart. Inhale down to your sector center. Feel the heart and the sexual center are connecting. Now aware your original force. Feel the sexual energy and the loving energy combine in the original force. You can put your hand down holding near your navel. Feel the sexual and love energy combined, going out and connecting with the cosmic orgasm energy all around you in the universe. Feel it like a mist all around you. Inhale, drawing that cosmic orgasm energy inside you, gathering it into your mouth and draw it down to the original force, the navel area. Then exhale, condensing that energy in the navel area. Let the energy from the heart center be drawn down. Let the energy from the sexual center be drawn up. Feel all that energy combine and gently let it expand and radiate into your whole body. Feel every cell being filled with that blissful energy. It is the most important energy in our cells. <coughs> 